So the name Boy Scouts will soon be a thing of the past. The Boy Scouts of America are going to drop boy from the name of its signature program. The organization has changed a lot in the past few years. In October, it announced it would allow girls to participate. And in 2015, the organization ended its ban on gay leaders. Now, what do you think about the name change? I want to get you to weigh in on this. Go to WSA9.com slash vote or the WSA9 app to cast your vote. Here with us tonight, Luke Rose, a scout leader in Virginia at one of the first all-girl Cub Scout dens and Cub Scout daughter Hero. So let's talk about uh, the, the, this change. First of all, let me ask you, Hero, what interested you about joining the, now we're calling it Scouts BSA? My big brother, he first joined and he had these all these cool activities like the Pinewood Derby or camping and it just really interested me and then they allowed girls in and so it was I really wanted to join. Right, good thing you can't have him do all the cool stuff and you not get to do any of it. Uh, just wouldn't have been fair. Yes. Yeah, it just would not have worked out at all. So, so Luke, talk to me about how you got involved in, in, in bringing uh, girls into the fold in, in the Boy Scouts. Sure. So, as Hero said, we have four children, two older than Hero and one younger. And my oldest son joined Cub Scouts in 2013. I started volunteering then, and when the girls program opened up a couple months ago, we decided that she wanted to be in it. She was really gung-ho about it, but no one was stepping up to lead the effort. So I stepped up and we started a girls' den and we're growing fast. So did you even think, did you grow up in the Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts? I did. As a kid, I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout. Did you ever see this day as possible? Did it, did it ever enter your mind as within the realm of possibility? Before I had daughters, no. And then as soon as I had a daughter, I looked around and said, this is an amazing program, and I think that my girls really should have the same experience. It also makes it a lot easier for my family. Again, with four kids, it's going to be a one-stop shop, which we love. That's perfect. Right. Now, one thing that this has done, as I've read, is it's kind of driven a wedge in between the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. So I'll put this to both of you, Hero, to you first. Do you, what do you know about the Girl Scouts, and, and, and why are you going with the Boy Scouts with the stuff that your brother was doing instead of going that route? Well, I am currently a Girl Scout, and okay. I think it is really fun, and right now I'm trying out both, and I still like both, and they both interest me. Gotcha. So both have to rise to the occasion at this point to, to, to win her over. So, sure. But I guess technically you could still go ahead and do both, but ultimately you think you'll just choose one? Um, I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Just okay. test the waters, see what they what they have there. And what have you seen? The, the differences between the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts uh, from a parental perspective are, are are both of them providing what you need? Is one in a sense better than another? I don't think so. I think that they're different programs and they serve different purposes. As Hero said, both of our daughters are Girl Scouts right now and they plan to continue to be Girl Scouts. The, the highest award in the Girl Scout program is the Gold Award and we would be really thrilled if both girls earn their Gold Award. Mm -hmm. Now they can also both earn their Eagle Scout Award. So we're going to start up a Scouts BSA troop, a girl troop, in February 2019. And I'm hoping that both of my girls will be founding members. So will it be, uh, it sounds like an, an all-girl troop, there, there wouldn't be any integration with, with, with boys and girls? Well, so the Scouts have done a really great thing where they're leaving it up to the individual chartering units. So if you want to have an all-girls troop, you can. If you want to have an all-boys troop, you can. If you want to have both at the same time, you can. So the group that we're, the unit that we're associated with in Springfield, Virginia, has a boys troop now and has for 60 years. And we're starting a girls troop to be a companion to it. Great. So uh, just before we end here, uh, what are some of the activities that you're working on now? What are the things that you're most looking forward to here over the next few months? I'm really looking forward to camping because I've always really, really liked camping. Yeah. And I'm now getting into fire starting and archery and really, it's really cool. Gotcha. This is the time of year for that stuff. That's it is. fantastic. Finally, warmer temperatures, getting some camping, starting fires. Exactly. Well, this sounds great. Congratulations to both of you. Appreciate Thank you, you coming much. on to talk with us about it. Thank you much. No problem. All right, we're coming right back with more.